Welcome back to my channel. It's Jenny here today. I am reviewing the foundation from IT Cosmetics. Apparently this is a new foundation. This is their confidence in the foundation, all day confidence, long wear, weightless, full coverage, velvet matte finish. So I'm really excited because I love velvet mattes, um, especially for the summer, you know. You get really high, you get really oily. So up to 24 hours of wear and hydration. It's perfect for sensitive skin. This is an oil-free foundation that feels weightless on your skin and it's infused with hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides. So it's one ounce. Here's what the bottle looks like. Um, it has a big white cap and then it has a pump. Hooray for pumps. We love the pumps. So I'm just gonna put two pumps here I already primed my face. Um, oh, it kind of came out. Gosh, I forgot to start recording, I'm sorry. So I just, I'm grabbing some from my hand here. My shade is light tan in 145W. I actually ordered it online, so I didn't have a chance to swatch it and see if it actually matches me, so. I think it's looking pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize too much or oxidize at all. I applied it all over my face. I can definitely um, feel that it is very much a velvet matte finish. Um, the thing that I don't like right now, maybe it's because it's not fully dry, is that I can feel it. It feels a little bit sticky. As far as coverage, I think it did a pretty good job. I went ahead and grabbed um, another pump. I just put one more pump on my hand and I'm going over my the areas where I'm really red. I would definitely say it's medium to full coverage, um, you know, because you can build it up to get the full coverage. I usually do love velvet uh, matte finishes, but it just depends on the time of the year and how my skin's acting and all that, all that stuff. So I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back to let you know what I think See if you guys can see what it looks like up close. My pores are showing a little here. But I mean, it, it's pretty good coverage. It hid most of my redness, most of my like scars and stuff like that. So, okay guys, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my face. Um, I think I'm loving this foundation so far. Skin looks so smooth and like... I don't know, I just freaking love it. But um, I guess we'll see how it holds up. I should be home in about four hours or so, but I think that so far it's looking really, really nice and smooth and it's covering everything up. I'll be back later. You guys, here's a close-up of my foundation. It's only been an hour since I've been wearing it. Um, I'm getting creasing around my nose, but that always happens no matter what foundation I use, I'm creasing. You guys, I'm back. It's been about five hours or so. Um, I'm wearing, I'm obviously wearing my glasses as you can see, but the thing is that sucks about glasses is that, <sighs> that, that sucks about wearing glasses. So obviously other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out with my hands. Honestly, it looks a little, I'm getting a lot of separation in this whole area here. And I mean like not just because of the glasses or anything like that, but not just because of the glasses themselves, but I do tend to get more oily on my nose. So that's normal, but I'm getting like crazy separation and it's setting into certain, like my pores. It's weird. Um, but everywhere else looks fine. It looks good. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to test this foundation out again another day. Okay, so do you see how all here it came off here in this area right by my nose? And, um, oh, my chin too. It's kind of coming off down here. My skin looks horrible right now, so forgive me. This is not my week. Like, you'd have to use, like, a really good primer for this. You know how I feel about the foundation. We'll have to try it again. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hey you guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video. So I tried the foundation for a few more days and honestly I have to say that I think I love the foundation. I'm sorry for the mess, I'm getting ready for bed. But 
Um, I think I really, really love the foundation. The thing that sucks about glasses is that obviously you have something that's resting on your face all day. So the foundation is obviously not going to stick onto wherever you have that um, object on your face all day. Love the foundation. I tried it for about three days in a row. I ended up trying a different primer. So I used the No Pore Blum Primer from Touch and Soul. This came in our BoxyCharm a few months ago. Um, but I ended up using this and I really really liked how it, the finish was really really smooth and flawless throughout the whole throughout the whole day and I didn't look um, like I'm suffocating and dying for water type of matte. It was a really nice like healthy matte and I'm very oily myself so I think that you know it kind of just balances out. I'm definitely going to be using it more and I know I'm going to get darker during summer so I'm going to be picking up a darker shade and that is all thank you guys for watching i hope that you like subscribe and comment and i will see you on my next video bye